Aloha friends! How are you guys? I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. It is the start of the weekend for me. So I wanted to go ahead and catch up on some videos that I wanted to make. So for this um, channel, um, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys my makeup um, storage area of where I store my makeup. Now I used to store my makeup in the, around the bathroom area, which is a big no-no. Don't um, If you guys um, have been storing your makeup around the bathroom, um, find another place in your bedroom or in the closet or somewhere um, away from the, ba um, the bathroom because with the moisture that happens into the bathroom it tends to ruin our makeup and it just doesn't have as long of a shelf life as it would be if you did not have it um, within the bathroom area and um, let's go let's go ahead and let me share with you guys um, how I store my makeup so first of all, my makeup is around um, my desk area. So this is my working desk. Um, this is also my desk to where I have my Cricut machine. This TV is used for my Photoshop when I do photography. Um, and it just makes, um, when I'm working on my laptop, it just makes everything bigger onto the TV. And then over here is um, my storage area for my makeup and also uh, my nails at the bottom. I had gotten this at um, Ikea. I believe it's the Alex collection. I'm not quite sure, but I, th I think they do. They still have it. So they still have this in Ikea. And then what I have on top of this storage unit is just a, um, a, a glass tray that I had gotten a while back. Now it's supposed to look like it's um, rugged with like uh, chip glass and all that stuff. So that's what really drawn me to it. Um, I got some little decors up in here. Um, this is me and hubby a few years ago. Um, I got this from my sister-in-law just recently for Christmas. I love it. This is just a plain glass that I DIY'd. And if you visit my A Simply Simple Life channel, it will have that DIY for you. And this is my MAC um, setting spray. And then I had gotten this from my uh, one of my Ipsy bag. And it's a Juice Beauty Hydrating Mist. So I put this up here because I don't like to lay them down onto the drawers and then this way it's standing upright and then it will remind me to actually use it. It used to be in my medicine cabinet and I would forget to, um, to use it. And let's just go, I guess let's just go right ahead to what's in my um, storage unit. So the first drawer, uh, well first of all let me just say that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine drawers and one two three four of them are deeper in size and then the rest are just um um yay height so um i i don't think it's as organized as how i would want it to be but i just i try so my first drawer is basically just for palettes of what the kind of palettes that i have back here are my um NYC uh, smoke eye palette. This is an extra Sephora mirror. Right here is my um, Urban Decay that I had just gotten for Christmas. I have not actually used these. Um, my Sephora um, smoky eyes. I, I got this when it first came out and love it. And I don't know if I can um, see it's, it's been used and really used well. And this is my MAC um, palette that I don't know why I picked those colors. And then this is my Lorac um, palette of just um, varieties of dark chocolate, berry kisses for cheek and lip. And this is the um, cream eyeliner palette. This is the smoky eyeshadow palette of the Blackberry Truffle Seduction. Satisfying Toffee Crunch of the Natural Eyeshadow Palette. I really love this. Um, this I just gotten also, so I'm going to do a review of this. And then I had just bought this. Actually, the receipt is still here. I have not used this yet, but I wanted to go ahead and um, do a review with you guys. This is the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar. And I had just gotten a few weeks ago the Urban Decay, so I have not... I think I've used it once or twice, so I want to do a review with that as well. But the, my Ur Urban Decay Naked palette the naked one is one of my favorite go-to palettes it's absolutely my favorite if i don't if i don't want to think of um what kind or how to put my eyeshadow this is basically how i do it i just go in here and just grab because i know i'm so comfortable with this palette that i know just to just 
work and mix and match and all that stuff. So I'm hoping that I can do the same with, um, with these palettes to be really comfortable with it. So yeah, so eyeshadow palettes. Um, second drawer, a little bit more of eyeshadow palettes, I guess. So this is um, my little eyeshadow um, palette of Stila and Revlon Clinique. Um, I got these from like, you know, when I buy perfumes and stuff from uh, from Macy's. Um, these are, I try to cat categorize it by certain um, categories or category. But I think this is for my cheek. Yeah, so this is my, anything that has to do with my cheek. So this is my mineral veils. I have a couple of that. And... This one's um, more palettes because it couldn't fit in here, but I have something for my cheeks in here, and this is a Stila um, eyeshadow and lip palette. This is NYC. This is basically for the cheek, so NYC and then more eyeshadow palette. So I, this should be actually in here, right? Mm. So got to put that in there. And then these are cheeks, so I got this from an Ipsy bag. This is the Bombshell. NYC, this is my um, go-to blush when I don't want too much um, pinkish on my my cheeks, but then just want it to be a little glowy. And this is my bronzers over here, and I got um, Pixie. This is from an Ipsy bag. Um, I got a baked uh, bronzer from Urban Decay. I have a NARS um, setting powder. A, a, as well as a tart. I love my tart. That's my go-to powder. But I also have a Benefit um, blush um, and bronzer of Hula and Belly Bomba that I like. And I think these are just um, icings or uh, these are stuff that I don't really use. So I just put it back there. And then this one, again for the eyes. So as you guys can tell, I have a lot of stuff for the eyes. So this one is, I used to go to be really into um, the Bare Minerals. So this is all that with um, loose eyeshadows like these from Sephora. Uh, so these are just way back here that I'm trying to rotate out. Um, so I have been using these for a while and then these were just being tucked away. So just recently I switched them out so that um, I could pay more attention to these for now. And this one is just my Max and I got these during Christmas time I think of last year. So these are really nice too. It's just I haven't used these in a while. But um, that's why it's nice not to put them around the bathroom with high humidity and all that stuff because you want your makeups to last because they, you know, you spend so much money on them. These are Ulta um, eyeshadows, loose eyeshadows that I have gotten and I use it once in a while. I tend to gravitate to the, the palettes because it's just so easy. They all um, blend together. This one I have to really think, you know, what do I want with this? What do I want with that? So I don't use these as much as I would want because I don't have the time these days with four kids. So these are my uh, Bare Minerals and these are basically my Bare Minerals for the face, like foundation, cappuccino um, foundation. This is, uh, what is this one? This is my matte foundation. Put that there. And I like these. These are the NYX jumbo eye pencils. So I got a couple of colors of those. I do use my white one a lot. And this is Mika Beauty or Mika Beauty uh, Makeup Forever. And these are basically like the cream base uh, for the eyes. So I have my cream based um, makeup in here. Aqua cream. Oh, not cream base. Just cream, cream uh, eyeshadows. And this one is my eyeliner. So I got my eyeliner um, sharpener here. And this is everything that has to do with pencils, uh, eyeliner pencils and such. That a lot of them I do get from, um, from Ipsy as uh, samples and over here is stuff for the eyes again so there's some stuff over there I don't think I use it that much but this is my falsies I don't have any eyelashes I really don't so I have to use um, falsies if I need to if I need to um, have my um, uh, her eyes bring out much more, I guess. it. So I tend to use falsies a lot. Um, however, I did get this during Christmas time. Yeah, I shared with you guys a video. I 
think not with you guys but it's with a simply simple life of what i got for christmas i think so this is um hubby got me this for christmas he got it at costco Too face better than lashes and it does make my lashes seems like i have regular lashes <laughs> because like i said I, I barely have any so this is mascara or anything um that deals with mascara so my most favorite mascara here is the one from benefit the real um that one is really working out for me i love that one and then also stella this is a major major lash mascara i love that as well and this is um, under eye products. So this is where I have my primers, uh, my glitter for my my eye, um, anything for the eye. So this is where I have my Sephora um, eyeliner, uh, liquid eyeliner or cream eyeliner. Oh, smoky eye cream eyeliner. Okay. And then over here is my lipstick. So I don't, I'm not, I don't gravitate too much to the lipstick. I'm more into the, just the lip balms for now because I do have a baby. And I don't want to put too much makeup on as far as for my lips because I'm constantly kissing her. However, I have a few um, MAC lipstick, some Revlons, Benefits, um, Ulta, all that stuff. Like I said, this is for foundations. I use MAC. Um, I use Clinique. I used um, Lancome. And as far as foundation, this one is a Benefit. But my go-to right now, because um, I don't really go anywhere special, so my go-to right now is my Revlon Colorstay. Um, this is very affordable compared to a $52 bottle of that, so I tend to just save that for just special occasions. This is my everyday makeup as far as just getting ready in the morning, taking my kids to school and such. And this drawer has my pore um, professional that I like to use. This is so very... Um, very silky when you put it on. I use a Lancome, um, re re is it Renergy Lift? Multi-action. I got this from one of the, the colognes that I had ordered or picked up from them. Really like it. I got this from the Ipsy bag. It's a Pixie Flawless Beauty Primer, all-in-one um, primer. This is basically my um, concealer from Revlon. But my go-to concealer is my, um, my Boing from Benefit. I love that um, a lot, a lot, lot, lot. And that's about it. These are like samples that I get from Macy's whenever I order or get some from Macy's. And this drawer is just basically um, just the brush, the brush that I'm currently using. Um, or I do have another container brush that's in the bathroom, my go-to brush. These are like samples of like face stuff that I've gotten from the Ipsy bag this is i got so much of these because i think they were like a dollar over at um cvs when they were like 90 percent off these are just hand lotions um a lot of them are samples from like i said ipsy this is the um the mara maracuja oil that i had gotten as a sample from the ipsy bag i'm constantly saying ipsy bags because that's that's why i have a lot of these little um container stuff makeup is because from the ipsy bags and also a lot of um, like the, not the eyeshadows, but like these, I got that from Ipsy's and all that stuff. And a lot of the eyeliners I do get from Ipsy. So these are just my brush. And let's see what I have in here. Oh, these are the nail polish. So I like these. You can't, I don't understand why we can't buy this here. It's an unopened one. We can't buy this at, um, like Target or CVS, but these are the most, um, useful products invented <laughs> as far as for the nails but um it's a cosmetic cotton bud and i've never seen it at my target but what it is is that it has like a regular q-tip on one end but the nice thing about it is at the other end it's really nicely pointed so that when you're applying your nail polish especially for my 12 and a half year old um when she applies it and she's um she gets all messed up then she just has to dip this part into a um nail polish remover go around the nails and then it'll be a nice uh finished um product for her so that at the very end is just my um nail kit stuff these are all the nail polish my my girl is more into nail polish than i am but i have her leave it here because um just so that it's all in one place 
these are this is just basically an extra drawer of the nail polish these um these are from what do you call this bath and body works that i cleaned out the glass and if you guys visit my simply simple life there's a diy of how i of how i did that and this is just a tattoo kit uh temporary tattoo kit that i use on the girls bottom drawer oh i gotta bend down so this is my Scentsy stuff, my little storage stuff of um, stuff that I need to put away. So I put it at the bottom. Um, and that's about it. So as you guys can tell, it's a lot of makeup, but it's not as it's not as much as you know others but it's i get i think huh, i think i have plenty of makeup especially eyeshadows i need to stop buying eyeshadows it's it's one of my addiction i think we all have our own little collection addiction it's one of mine i don't know why but i need to stop i need to um i need to belong to eyeshadow anonymous kind of thing but that's about it this is how i store my makeup i keep it in my room um this is a cornered room um so that like i said doesn't get humidity on it and it's easily accessible for me because i'm constantly working here on my desk and that's just oh there's me that's just how i like to to have it so i hope you guys enjoyed this um video of how i shared um my makeup uh storage with you guys and come visit me with um, a simply simple life or come visit me here again Mahalo!